basically take a water sample, which may look like this. And normally when it's black, you see this is corrosion. And just to make it visible, you take a magnet and you see the water starts to get transparent. Becomes, becomes clean. And so the magnet is typically the pump in your system which collects all the magnetite sludge and will break at one point. This is step two and three, which are normally done in parallel. And the beauty of this process is you can do it while the heating system is running. That means you're independent of a season. You can fix your system also in winter. Okay? So what you do is you take the water in a bypass through the first machine, which is the heating water filter. This filter makes sure what is black here stays in the filter and you get clean water. So you take everything out which could block pumps, etc. At this point, you still don't have VDI water, you just have clean water. You run it through this system, which is a demineralization unit, which takes out all the minerals to reach the VDI 2035 values. Then you have the perfect water and you bring it back into the heating system. Um, let's look at step four. Every system will lose water over time. And you want to make sure you top up the system with VDI water. The process is exactly the same as here. You have the water coming from the mains, you top up the system, run it through here, and you're sure you will always have good water in there. So this is the top of unit you use in that step. The last step in the treatment is you put in an HWR heating water regulator into the system. It permanently stays there and checks all the values of the water and adapts them if necessary. Step number five, which is basically repetition of step number one. You treated the water and you want to make sure it matches all the values of the VDI 2035. That's why uh, you measure the values of the water and the water doesn't look like this, but it's transparent. And that's it.